Welcome everybody to Omnisense Marketing Tip Series. We're in roughly three minutes or less each day. I'll give you actionable tips and ways to improve your email and SMS marketing program and help you increase your sales. Now, yesterday I spoke about splitting your messages based on purchase history. Today, I want to discuss how this type of split can impact your send and discount strategy. Let's look again at those brand new customers. Because they're new and acquisition is so important, you may want to alter your discount strategy for this group. Remember, you've likely already spent money to acquire a customer up until this point. For this reason, you may choose to move the discount to the very first message to try to seal the deal right away. Your goal here is to make them work to say, nope, no thanks. Now, personally, I would still keep it later in the series and really look to optimize the earlier messages for conversion. But this may entirely depend on the type of products you sell and how difficult it is to acquire new customers. How many messages do they need? Well, I throw the kitchen sink at them and send them all three, including an SMS if they've opted into receiving text. But for loyal customers, do they really need three or four messages and deep discounts? Probably not. Loyal customers may only need one email and maybe an SMS reminder. However, if you do offer discounts to everyone else, don't take these customers for granted and give them one too. You maybe offer them either a slightly deeper discount or one without a minimum spend. Chances are probably spend well above that anyways. And if you do, you can choose to recognize them in your messages as valued customers and let them know at the no minimum or slightly larger discount is your little way of saying thanks. You can fill in the remaining customer tiers to match your business. First time returning customers, maybe they get a discount in the first message with a minimum spend and receive two emails and one SMS. The trick is to send as many messages and smart incentives to people as is needed to recapture lost cards while keeping profits as high as possible. So as you can see, the options here are really limitless, especially if you choose to combine these splits with card total splits. Now think about what makes the most sense for your business and make it happen one split at a time. Again, if you want to start easy, create the splits and send the exact same messages to each group. This will give you insights into how each group performs and you can adjust your strategy from there. So thanks for tuning into this episode of the Marketing Tip Series. Feel free to let me know if you have any questions and be sure to check out OmniSend and let us prove to you how we can help double your conversions. Until next time, happy marketing. 